everything is ready to go. All I have to do in the morning is hop on. It's kind of a tight squeeze. This is where my butt goes. All right, hello world. Freaking Jim here, and I'm about to do some adventure. That's Vegas over there. I'm in Henderson right now, where I live, and I'm taking off for California. But instead of like last time where I just took the, the normal roads, this time I'm taking the uh, less normal roads, and it's going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. So I'm departing from Henderson. I'll end up. I'll end up in Modesto. Those of you who don't know, Henderson. It's just a little suburban city, town, whatever area southeast of Las Vegas. Actually rated the second safest city by the FBI's whatever whatever report. So apparently it's supposed to be super safe. I pretty much wish I could live in Henderson forever, but I've got to move to Las Vegas because it's cheaper. Henderson is mostly retired people, but then there's, you know, there's some normal population here, but it is a great place to retire. Most people, like my dad, retire here and then just freaking chill, go to the resorts and the casinos. My dad freaking, he plays hard at this crap, at this Fiesta Henderson. He goes there and he racks up all the rewards points and stuff like that. Gets all those free buffets and stuff, so he's always inviting me to the free buffets. Another fun fact about Henderson, if you've ever seen Paranormal Activity 4, then you know Henderson because <laughs> the Paranormal Activity 4 story takes place in Henderson. In the beginning it says Henderson, Nevada. Here you can see a shot of Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world. If you haven't been to Las Vegas, you should definitely come here before Lake Mead dries up and everything dies. All right, will this get me in? You bet. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. I've gone 15 miles west of Las Vegas and now I'm at Red Rock National Conservation Area. It's known for having these huge freaking sandstone walls. They're just huge. I mean, you wouldn't believe it until you see it in person. And of course, there's the Rainbow Mountain Range up in here. It's a protected area, so there's no off-roading. Except, of course, for Rocky Gap Road, which is up in there. Which is where I'm going. This is going to be an amazing trip. I can feel it already. It's going to be an amazing trip. So here I am on Rocky Gap Road. Rocky Gap Road is just an unmaintained road, as you can see, that cuts between the range of the Rainbow Mountains on this side and the La Madre Mountains on this side. The Rainbow Mountains are the ones that you can see from Vegas and that I showed you earlier. And the La Madre is just 
another range to the west of it. So this Rocky Gap Road kind of cuts between those two ranges and then cuts over both of them and brings you to Lowville Canyon Road. And that'll be my next that'll be my next turn. How's, how's it going? Uh, not so great. Oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, I came across Jay, who I met at the entrance. And Jay is on a Husqvarna um, 510. And he was overheating a little bit. So he was stopped to cool off. And we got to talking. And he's like, oh, do you know that guy ever ride? I'm like, of course I know Tyler. <laughs> I'm at the washed out part of the road. So, oh yeah. So the cool part about Rocky Gap is that it is always different. You never quite come back to the same thing every time because it gets washed out more and more. It's not maintained and it's just different every time. And I'm right here. Having quite a challenge. It's, oh man. There we go. Making it through. <laughs> Making it through. The weight, I'll tell you, the weight really does change things. It really, really does. Okay, made it through the hard part. It looks like it might rain, so that could be interesting. Made it through Rocky Gap just fine. So this is a good this is a good start to the day and a good start to the adventure. I figured if I was gonna have problems, I'd probably have them in Rocky Gap. But nothing too bad so far. My stuff is getting a little bit loose back there, but it's no big deal because I can tighten that. Bow. Oh, crap. Okay. Stop here for a picture.